In this video, I'm going to show you simple tips and tricks on how to properly find support and resistance using TradingView software. Uh, TradingView software it's an advanced financial visualization platform. Um, it's very easy to use. You can actually run it on a web browser or download the desktop version. Uh, beginners can use this. Experts can use this. To access this, open the browser and type in tradingview.com so that's going to be t-r-a-d-i-n-g v-i-e-w dot com and when you open it it's going to be like this you can use the free version or you can use the advanced version but for the purposes of this video I'll be using the free version so if I go ahead and put in a ticker right here and say ADP for instance it takes me all the way here and this is the way the platform is this looks like any charting platform that you know about now first what is support people talk about support and resistance support and resistance to properly understand what this video is all about Let's just go ahead and just have simple definitions thrown in here so we know exactly what we're doing. We are on the same page. Support or support level refers to the price level that an asset does not fall below for a period of time. What does that mean? In this chart right here, this goes up and this is referred to as a downtrend. Now it goes ahead and gets to this point, it puts in first day, second day, third day, it starts going higher. It comes back there again, tests this, first day, second day, and then goes back higher. So I can refer to this as a support level. Okay. Support can be visualized using various technical indicators. Or you can just draw a line. In this video, we are just going to be identifying support with our eyes and we will just draw a line so this by itself can be referred to as support but for it to be correct I would say connect this to this to become an actual story that you're trying to a picture that you're trying to paint let's go ahead and draw some support levels for a couple tickers before we draw levels here are some tips first the more connecting points the stronger the case for a support level so this by itself is good but connecting this to this to this to this makes a stronger support level makes a stronger area of support second you want to stay on one time frame you don't want to switch between time frames. So you have a support level right here on the daily, and then you go on one hour, and then this, and the 30th. No, you want to stay on one time frame when you are looking for a support. Generally, I personally like to advise trade idea generations using the daily, and then I use the five minute for entries. So I use the daily for trend generation or trade idea generation and I use the five minute for entries next tip you want to ensure that you look left to be able to predict the right side what you're more interested in is this side because you're not interested in just historically looking at stuff you want to be able to find entries or trade idea generations that's why you'll be looking at support and resistance levels in the first place. So you want to be able to look left to be able to predict the right side of the screen. I'll show you what I mean in a few minutes. Next, you want to be able to take notes, make notes of your research. Don't just look at support levels and resistance levels and then just move on make notes so it makes sense to you you can either make notes on trading view right here by using their note feature or you can just use a pen and paper and write your notes down or you can just use the notepad 
to write your notes down. I use Microsoft To Do. I use a notepad. I use a pen. It depends on you, but it always makes sense to write down your levels and know exactly what you want to do. And last but not the least is time your research. It's okay to look at charts all day, but at the end of the day, what did you gain from the charts? So time your research. If you want to look at this one hour, you want to look at it two hours, you want to look at three hours, don't matter, but time your research. So at the end, you can process and digest everything that you just researched. Check out a video I made up here that gives you a few tips on how to navigate trading you. Do you know that when you subscribe and hit the like button, it helps us on YouTube? I would like you to pay for this content by smashing the like button and subscribing to this channel right now. Let's go ahead and pick out some support lines for a few stocks. Use the mouse wheel to, to zoom in and zoom out. Zoom in and zoom out. All right, where are some of the key levels for this? So when you open this, it's gonna be like this. Where are some of the key levels for this? Let's pick out the support. I see this is one spot so I'm going to go ahead and put one right here move it up a little bit this is another spot I'm going to go ahead and put this right here and that's it just a relevant areas of support now you can make an argument and say hey this is support it's fine you can make an argument and say this could be support but what are the relevant levels to what I am trying to achieve here what are the relevant levels this is a relevant level because there's a bounce right here and this is a relevant level because when it came here it consolidated for a little bit and went up now I don't need to get the tails I don't need to get the tails there is no perfect way of doing it to say hey this is the correct one this is not the correct one you have to put the lines exactly at this point now just have a general idea of where the lines are and then you can work off that all right next you always look left to be able to predict right so what support levels am i seeing right here just scrolling this out a little bit out support levels I'm seeing right here is this right that is a relevant support level that I see right there now, so you can make a case that this could be a support level but I can have you wrong this is the this is the relevant support level I see right here next Where is a relevant support level right here? This this could be a relevant support level right here. That's one touch, two touch, three touch. The more touches, the better. This is a little bit, but one touch, two touch, three touch, and then just a few cents shy of this. So this could be a relevant level right here. Uh, this could be a relevant level as well you have one touch right here consolidation right here and another touch right here all right next what is a relevant level right here what is a relevant level right here over here there's one touch right here one touch right here here a little bit of consolidation right here all right so that could be a relevant level and if I go further back you see that this is also a relevant level right here okay next 
So I'm going to do three more and we'll move on to resistance. Uh, what is the relevant level right here? It's not crystal clear, but I can say this is a relevant level right here. Okay. And if you see this level right here, have a little bit of effect right here. This is the resistance right here. Another resistance right here. Came over here, consolidated, it popped up. And they said that could be a relevant level right there. Next one. What is the relevant support level right here? Zooming out for a little bit, I would say this is a relevant support level right here. So this could be referred to as a support area or support level. Over here, a little shy in 2014, 2013, 2012, that is a relevant level. So you have one touch right here, one touch right here, almost, almost. So I, this general level is somewhere that I'm, is an area of interest for me. All right, next. So relevant level right here is not so far right here and area of consolidation tail 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 so this area right here it's, it's an area of interest next calm it's an area of interest for me and car is going to be the last but not the list right here. This is an area of interest for me as well. Okay. All right. So I hope with these few tips, you are able to understand how to logically or discretionally look for areas and positions of support that can help you in your trading. Hope this video helps you understand the general concept of how to place support lines around your chart to help you improve your trading. How to properly draw resistance lines. There is no perfect way to do it. There's no, there's no right way to do it. There's no wrong way to do it but just know the general idea behind doing it. Now, some people get the line perfectly. Some people don't get the line perfectly, but you have a general, a general idea of what it is. First of all, what are resistance levels? Resistance levels are a price point that a stock gets to and it has trouble exceeding that point for a period of time. It could be for a day, it could be for 10 days, it could be for 20 days, it could be for a year, it could be for three trading sessions. Now, resistance occurs where an uptrend is expected to temporarily pause due to concentration of supply. What does that mean? A stock falls down for a minute, gets the support level, gets the demand, it starts going up, people start buying it, it starts going up, it gets to a point, and now the interest is no longer there to buy. All right, because there's so much supply and now it starts consolidating. All right, it can't pass that level, it starts consolidating, consolidating, and then it starts falling down. So, this area of consolidation can be referred to as the resistance level. We're just going to be identifying resistance levels and just drawing it with a trend line from point to point. Looking at this, resistance level could be right here. This could be a resistance level. All right. I change the line to yellow. Make it a little thicker. Okay. 
and in some cases resistance becomes support or support becomes resistance so in this case this was a support it broke through that and now this is an area of interest that is having a problem going through it has passed that it came down and then now it's consolidating around that this, this is a resistance line this is another resistance line This is the resistance line. This is the resistance line. This is the resistance line. This is another resistance line. Again, support becomes resistance. This could be a resistance line. We do a couple more. This could be a resistance line. This could be a resistance line right here. It came support for a second, and now it changed from resistance. Resistance here, resistance here, liberal resistance here now it becomes resistance here and now this becomes support so resistance here resistance here broke through that now it's now the support and it broke through that again and then it's going down the last one resistance line again left to right we're more interested in right but we use left to connect and make a strong case for right so this could be a resistance line in this point it was support but this resistance right here this also could be a resist another resistance line and last but not least uh, this could be a resistance line right here resistance breaks through support test almost test the support breaks through comes back and it never gets to that point then gets to that same spot again and now you have an issue right there and this is the resistance line This is a resistance line. And this is a resistance line. So it was support right here, came resistance. This is a support line, support, 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 and now it has become a resistance. Resistance breaks through resistance support goes up a little bit trends 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 and comes down breaks through that key level support bounce for a little bit breaks it gets back up there as resistance resistance cannot break through goes down for a little bit and now it's testing that now what are the support levels on this one this is the support level touch one touch two this is another support level 
right here, right here is the support level. Touch one here. So your chart should tell a story. I hope I'm able to use this chart to teach you how to properly draw support and resistance areas or regions. Go ahead and just try it out and test out a um, couple examples. I will leave uh, a couple names for you to be able to download and practice with right in the description below. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I hope this has been helpful.